Hey and welcome back to the farm. My name is Filthy. This is Bloomfield Canada. We've got a lot of stuff to get done today including dealing with this grass. We're going to find a, a new way to take care of it and potentially make some more money off of it. As well we're going to be doing some harvesting. Uh, if that's what you're looking for stay tuned. Welcome back to the farm. It is now August. We've got uh, we've got some plans for today. We're going to start off by accepting a contract. I've already looked into it. We're going to do this one here. It's uh, it's worth about eight thousand dollars, but uh, I chose it because just comparatively speaking to some of the other fields, it's actually like a, a decent size without without being problematic like here it's 45 but we also have contracts for like the likes of 58 and and some of these monster fields that i just simply don't have the time for and we're really just looking to make a couple bucks so that's why we're going with field 45 i am going to borrow their equi i didn't see how much money they were going to take by by insisting i use their equipment okay um in that case, we're going to use our own equipment because I'm not dealing with that. I'm not having a situation where I'm I'm losing a thousand dollars of profit. Okay, so I've accepted that contract. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is get the harvester and the harvester header over to uh, field 45, and uh, and then once we get there, I'll probably set an AI worker to oh 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 dear oh dear. I always forget it's rear wheel uh, steering on this thing. Now I just gotta find the header, which if I recall, I put behind the shed here. And there it is. Oh, nice, it's, uh, it's literally in some shrubs. That was good placement on my part, but uh, I'm hiding it. Okay, so I'm gonna get over to uh, field 45. It's, uh, it's just, near uh, Johnson's Farmer's Market, so it's, uh, it's a path we've seen a thousand times, so I'm not really going to bother showing that to you, especially when you... Oh, my goodness, my driving skills are on point today. And we are back. Uh, I'm just going to, before I go get the trailer, I'm going to do the headland here. Uh, the idea being, as I've said several times throughout the series, the AI workers tend to get confused, especially around the headlands where they'll just crash into things and stuff, so... I don't mind, like, setting off an AI worker to go get, or to continue to harvest while I go get the tractor or whatever, but I always like to do the headland myself in the sense that that's where the AI gets most confused, and, you know, if they're going to be screwing around in the field that we're trying to harvest, then, you know, it's it's redundant, so that's why I always do the, the headland first, and, uh... And yeah, that's that's what's happening here. Once we get a full pass under our belts, or once we're full, then that's when I will go get the trailer and the uh, and the tractor. Up here for the time being. I uh, did not mean to turn the whole harvester off, but uh, yeah, we're gonna go get the the tractor and the trailer now to start filling it up. Um, I'm starting to see why it would have been good to borrow their harvester in the sense that mine has a terribly small capacity, which is really unfortunate and something we're gonna have to work on, but uh, for right now, we're just gonna do what we gotta do, right? And we'll get this door closed because it doesn't need to be open, and get this one open, and let's go find our trailer well 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 it looks like we've run into uh, a bit of a problem here if you'll recall from the previous episode i as i was harvesting the oats on my field i said oh i'm just gonna leave these in the trailer and hope that i remember well i did not remember so now we have to take the time to go sell 703 liters which will be barely any money but uh, we've got to sell it in order to empty the field. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll see you over at the field. Here we are back on the client's field. Um, for what it's worth, that 703 liters that we sold was worth about $547. So definitely not worth 
uh, selling stuff like that unless you're stockpiling. But again, I was, I kind of put myself in that position. Oh dear, crashing into my own things. This is, uh, this is not a good look for me right now. But um, you know what? Them's the brakes, and I don't have crop destruction on, so we're gonna try and make this happen. Um, no, I feel like I need to do uh, a circle here. But um, anyway, as I was saying, uh, for your own perp, like if you're gonna play this game, keep in mind that yeah, you you got to be cognizant of like really stockpiling things before you try and sell anything because that was not at all worth it. So like if you're gonna do that, then you got to find a way to uh, like to to collect it as much as humanly possible and then sort it out and another ironic bit of information as i'm collecting the client's crop i'm realizing it is the exact same crop that i harvested on my own field so in theory i could have just left it in the trailer and we would have been perfectly fine but um you know hindsight's 2020 i guess I think it, uh, at this point, uh, just to, to diversify what I'm showing you here, just to, to break things up a little bit, I'm just going to work on the rest of this field off camera, and then when we come back, we'll spend a lot of time in getting our, our grass investment going, which will make sense as we get to it. And uh, I think we're going to, in theory, we're going to make... Uh, some purchases that will uh, that will pay dividends in the long run but in any event uh, I will see you once this field is done just to, to spare you the agony of watching me drive back and forth all right we're still working away at the field um, I just wanted to bring you back in because I was realizing uh, looking at it in post that uh, that I did I said I wanted to do two things in this video one of which is harvesting this field so it seems kind of counterintuitive to be like, oh, let's let's harvest this field. Let, uh, by all means, watch me harvest this field and then cut out most of it. So I'm going to try and um, not continue to do time lapses because I want to be respectful of the fact that that can get kind of annoying after a while. But I certainly want to keep uh, keep showing you some of this. So maybe if I'll, I'll keep cutting around if things if crazy things happen as I'm running to the store and what have you, those kinds of things. But, uh, yeah, I definitely want to keep showing the harvesting of this field. And at this point, I think I'm going to go take the, the trailer over to the grain mill simply because there's there won't be enough room for a full tank uh, to fit in there. So what we will do is we'll get the AI worker to, to start going again. And then at that point, I will take the tractor and the trailer over to the grain mill. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll take this time now to say thank you for being a part of these videos uh as i said in the previous video it's my understanding that uh that typically after the first 30 seconds of the video i lose people but in any event this will be a couple minutes in and that's okay with me because as i continue to say to to anyone who will listen i don't do this as for the views as much as it kind of feels like the the views validate the the work that goes into it um this really is something I do for myself. It's something I enjoy doing. Uh, I edit content 
as a as a full time job uh, in a radio setting, not in a video setting, but still, this is. Uh, you know, this has given me an opportunity. Hey, 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 careful now, black car. This has given me an opportunity to, to work on content that matters to me, not just content that matters to to the people that pay my bills. But uh, anyway, uh, all that to say thank you for being a part of this, and I, I appreciate the time. All right, it looks like the grain mill is in this industrial park looking area. I'll drive it on the wrong side of the road. We'll slow things down a little bit. And where, oh, where do I dump this? Looks like right there, which would make sense now, wouldn't it? There we go. Look at it all going in there. I don't know why saying look at it all going in there sounded as creepy as it did. I apologize for that. There you go, 36% uh, taken care of, and uh, or 36% transported. I'm not sure what the the actual contract is at, but uh, okay, I'll see you over at the farm, or, uh, assuming I don't crash into people. And back at the field, uh, it appears as though we will be taking a full uh, combine load, which... God, why does everything I say have to sound dirty? Okay, he's got a full grain tank, and... No, that's fine, AI worker. Park in a way that I have to drive it. Oh, okay. Because crop destruction has been turned off while I'm doing this, I'm... I'll drive to you, but just this once. And that was a love tap, just because I'm dis... <laughs> oh god, this is why I could never do this in real life. I can't drive my friggin' small sedan, let alone a tractor and a combine harvester and what have you. But regardless, uh, we're going to keep working on this field. It's uh, If I were a betting man, I would say it's about a third done? Maybe a little bit less? But uh, either way, it's coming along. We'll get there. And it'll be worth it in the long run that we'll be getting about $8,000 uh, plus however much extra oats we get, and while this is going on, I, um, why don't I tell you about what we're planning next? I'm gonna let the, uh, the AI worker do its thing while I go park the, this tractor kind of out of the way. Um, so basically, what I'm thinking for the next part of this video is I want to get a silage pit. You've heard me talk about it a couple times before. And the idea is that... Here, here. Hello! Um, anyway, the idea is that it's a, it's a money-making pit, for lack of a better word. Like, if you come into the, um, the, the price trends, and we'll go find grass. Uh, where is it? There's, there's grass. Uh, $72 for a thousand liters, and then you look at silage considerably more so uh, essentially what i want to do is i want to get the silage pit and i'm going to start filling it up i'm going to wait until the silage pit is completely full before i uh, with grass before i put the uh, the tarp over it and start uh, fermenting it into silage and uh, you know, I'm hoping that with that we'll be making significant, like we can make some really decent money and we should have a bit of a, a good silage operation if or when we get uh, um, cows. And at some point I think the, the next purchase we're going to make is a baler and I think as much as the forage wagon was a good idea to, to serve grass to the sheep, I think that just based on how challenging it was to get the the trailer lined up and stuff, I really do think that it'll be a, a worthwhile investment for us to get the get a baler and get a uh, a telehandler because that will make all the difference in the world if we can just drop off uh, bales and and leave them parked right on the uh, the trigger for feeding. Oh my goodness, this is why. I don't like AI workers doing things because if you look, they just completely missed a section there to the right and they're just stopping in the crop and backing over, whatever. Um, yeah, as I was saying, the 
the silage pit is a worthwhile investment long term, as will be uh, getting a baler and a telehandler. Granted, those things won't be for another couple episodes because I want to make sure that I have enough money to buy both of those. And already the silage pit's going to take us down about $25,000. And, you know, who knows, maybe after a couple a couple full silage pits we should be able to afford something like that because again looking at the price in theory we should be making very good money off of this what month are we in now we're in august so go take a look at this this has the better price yeah we're at the worst price point right now and it's trending upwards from now until january so i think if we can time it right where we're making money off of silage every couple months then we should be doing pretty damn good especially with how much a silage pit can hold uh depending on the size of the silage pit compared to the the forage wagon that i have might end up like leasing a giant forage wagon just for the purposes of emptying it out and uh the idea being hold on let's go look at things for sale uh let's see if we can find a forage wagon where did it go there they are uh so this is the one i own i think yeah and it has uh 2.3 uh tons or no that's how much it weighs silly 161 meters cube 100 oh my god my brain is not working today hold on we're gonna stop the ai worker because he doesn't need to be doing anything at the moment let's finish this train of thought before it gets derailed again <laughs> um as i was saying this one holds 16.1 meters cubed i believe that's a three um anyway uh anyway it it holds a decent amount but uh actually we'll we'll go ahead and do the math right now before we move on uh silos i'm just getting this one here Oh, it doesn't really say how much it can hold. Well, I guess we'll figure it out. Uh, okay, at this point, we're going to go ahead and get the, uh, the combine uh, emptied. Then we'll we'll keep working on this field, and I'll bring you back in a little bit. I, uh, as much as I said, I want to keep showing it, and I know I'm very wishy-washy this episode. Uh, I, I'm just I'm trying to be cognizant of... How boring the content can be just watching the same thing over and over again and I'm trying to make sure that I'm diversifying what we're doing it's just unfortunately a lot of this game is this kind of grindy doing the same thing over and over again so you can afford progress and I don't really know if that's what it's like for for real farmers but uh, that's what it is for a virtual farmer like myself I swear I'm smart, really, I, I do, I, I swear it, but uh, I'm proving otherwise by the fact that I just drove to the long, wrong location, and I can't say the word wrong, it's uh, it's just the opposite of everything's coming up, Millhouse, really. Uh, so we're about 60% on the field at this point, um, I suspect by the time I get back to the, uh, the combine we'll have a full grain tank, so we'll just go right into collecting that from them and i'm hoping that uh, around 80 percent field completion is when we get all the extra uh oats given to us but uh, we'll see what happens it, it i believe there's a lot of variables that go into it but uh, in any event we should be making some extra money on top of the eight grand that we're getting for this and um and yeah you know i'm gonna head back to the field now and uh and keep plucking away at this and i've been using an ai worker which i hope i i don't regret there's um they often make me nervous but we'll see what happens and proving once and for all why i continue to distrust ai workers this is where i found the combine harvester upon my return it said uh, job was completed which as you can see is not even remotely close to factual but whatever and then I came and found that the uh, the harvester was just left here. Um, maybe they saw a spider or something. Maybe they had to rush out to see John Wick for. I don't. I don't know what their justification was, but uh, yeah, that's a that's a thing that happens sometimes. I know 
in my uh, in my first playthrough of this game, I found it both hilarious and terrifying that uh, I sent an AI, AI worker to plant a field, and upon my return, he literally like crashed the harvester into a ditch so bad that I had to restart the game, and it was like. Were you trying to hide from INS or something? Like, why Why did you crash this and run away without saying anything? Like, come on now. Okay, so I just got told that the contract is done, but there's still some field left to harvest, so we're going to see how this turns out. I'm hoping that it will let us harvest the rest and, and turn it in for a profit, because I finished the contract and it ended up giving me about $3,000 just in extra oats, so I 100% want to make sure that I'm, I'm, frankly, I'm stealing this guy's crops. He asked me to harvest them for him, so I'm gonna make a little dough off the top, and, uh, and then once I'm completely finished with this, uh, that's when we will go back in and start the, uh, the silage operation. We'll probably get it installed and then fill what we can with the uh, with the what's left in the forge wagon and then at that point is when we'll call it an episode but in any event it's uh it, it's been a relatively tame episode like nothing really crazy's gone wrong but we've also had ai workers mess things up pretty pretty regularly pretty substantially okay so it's a, it appears as though we're allowed to keep harvesting the uh, the oats here it also appears as though the ai worker just didn't care to do that little section of field so i'm going to take over for him before uh, his ineptitude continues to cost me money and um and yeah I'll, I'll see you in a little bit and we're back on the farm as you can see the the harvester has been well used as has the trailer not really sure why the the tractor managed to to stay clean but in any event we're just gonna clean these things off we'll get them tucked away so to to make sure that we know where they are for the next time and then uh, and then yeah we're gonna buy that silage pit i already scouted out a location that i want to put it i'm hoping that it works out uh i'm always a little bit concerned with placing anything in this game that it's uh, as i've discussed several times the game can be a little bit glitchy when it comes to to the uh, the landscaping and what have you so my concern is that as much as I scouted at a location that I think is good, it might terraform the ground and make it just no es bueno, for lack of a better word. It, like, it's gonna be no good if it doesn't work. Uh, anyway, so we'll get this stuff put away, and then I'll see you over at the, uh, the new silage pit location. And we're back. Wow. Words are hard. And we're back is what I was trying to say. Uh, we're going to grab the, the forage wagon and bring it over to the where we're going to put the uh, the silage pit. Primarily just to, to save us time after the fact. And we got that. Like I said, I've already got what I think is a pretty good location scouted out. I'm hoping this works out uh, so we don't have to... to rethink this whole process granted i did just save it before doing this so worst case ontario we can um we can always move it later and here we are let's turn off the tractor for now i was gonna put it right about here and we'll go into silos and bunker silo it's just a it's just a small bunker silo but you know we don't need a whole lot actually do i want to put it over here where i can yeah, you know what, I'm gonna put that there so it's just easier, so, like, I'm, it's easier to navigate around the farm, basically. Yeah, we're gonna put that there, okay, it did clear some ground, but we are gonna landscape it a little bit in the sense that I don't want, uh, I'd like, as you can see, it put like cement around there so we want to clear that up a little bit uh painting i believe that it is asphalt let's yes it is okay so we're just gonna clear this up turn the camera a touch and just do that that should be good there and we'll shrink this down
And again, like, it, this is not necessary, but again, I, I think it would make sense. If you're putting a... Uh, one of these pits down you're not just going to drop it on the ground you're going to pour a foundation and what have you so that's why we're doing this it's an unnecessary expense but uh, again i'm all my main goal is always realism so there's that and then uh do i want to put some gravel down around it no that's that's fine okay so we've got that uh i will however work a, a bit of a fake path to the pit. So from here, we'll change that and go like this. Uh, and we'll get rid of some of that and we'll It's, I mean, my tires are probably bigger than that, but uh, there we go, that's probably about right. Just a little bit more on either side. Get rid of the grass. You're gonna ruin my grass. I'm not sure how I said that. Okay, so there you go, there's that. And again, it's for me it's always kind of about the, the sense of realism. I don't wanna just, uh, like if I'm gonna be driving over my grass nonstop, then it would make sense that it's been padded down, it's been destroyed and what have you. So that's why I'm doing this and just a little bit more and from here as well. Uh, I probably cut that a little bit too tight, but suit me. And now we're done. We're just going to get rid of that whole thing. There you go. And, again, that probably wasn't necessary, but I'm, I'm always looking for the realism approach. I'm always looking for a concept that, like, in real life, again, if you're driving over the, the grass nonstop, it's going to kill it. And so I think that it would make sense for me as an organization, me as a farm, to get things set up that I'm not... Like, I might as well put some gravel down and, and make use of the, the land and the dirt and what have you, if that makes sense. If it doesn't, whatever. I'm uh, <laughs> The talking part of these videos has always been the hardest for me. Okay, let's turn on the help menu. I'm going to be really upset if... Uh, how do I... So, I'm kind of proud of the fact that that didn't take for me forever. I just have to hit this button. And then, it's important that you kind of get it as evenly distributed as you can. Um, it's a little bit harder than you might think. Uh, I think I'm grinding on the wall just a little bit. But that's okay, because, again, we're... I rather have to... Oh, it's empty. And it only filled that much? Wow. Uh, well, we can turn off the help menu again. Okay, so uh, at this point, I'm just gonna, um, I think I'm just gonna leave this for now. In the next episode, what we'll do is um, cut the rest of that field and dump all of it in here, with the exception of however much the sheep need, and then we'll go from there. It should be, uh, should be a relatively quick process. I just want to get a rough idea. Like, yeah, I, I only cut like less than a full strip of this field so yeah it should be it should be pretty good anyway uh that's about it for now thank you all for joining me and uh i hope i catch you on the flip side bye